So you just picked up the brand new iPhone 10, which has a lot of new gestures, especially uh, for using the home button, which doesn't exist anymore. Now you've tried them out, some you like, some you don't, and you're thinking, okay, I just want the home button back because I don't get all these gestures, I'm not sure. Well, there's actually a way to add a virtual home button to your iPhone 10. And yes, it will look something like that. Now I've positioned it there, but I'm gonna show you how to actually set it up. So you wanna go into your settings menu, and when you're there, you wanna to go to general. So once you click on general, you head down to accessibility, click on that, and then scroll down to you see assistive touch. Once you're in assistive touch, you want to activate this assistive touch, and that gives you the virtual home button, which you can position where the traditional home button used to be on your iPhone. Now you can customize each button tap. So single tap for me is customize as home. Um, double tap is my multitask here. Long and I can customize the timing. Long press uh, is my notification center. 3D touch is something else. You can customize a lot of things, including, of course, uh, restart as well. Now you can change the opacity of the button so it's light and see-through like that, or you can make it much darker. Yeah, it depends on the kind of visibility you want. It's pretty cool, but it allows me to simply just tap and head home. I don't have to swipe from the bottom. I can double tap. And that takes me to my notification, my multitask menu here. And then if I tap again, it takes me home. A long press would take me to my action notification action center. So my action center is long press, uh, double tap is multitask, and I can map it out whatever way I want. And now I have a traditional home button on my iPhone 10, which is great. Uh, which is great and it's, it works for a lot of people that way. Now, this also will work with your lock screen as well. Um, so if you are, if you have Face ID on and basically unlock your di device, uh, you can basically tap to basically swipe it open. You don't actually have to swipe anymore, you just have to tap and it does that. You can position the button anywhere on your screen, mostly on the sides, top corners, but not on the center. I like to put it kind of where the traditional home button used to be um, and it works out pretty well. So there you have it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments about the iPhone 10, let us know. I'll try and put some more tips and tricks, maybe do a general one, but I thought this one, one was really important for people missing the home button. If you also want to uh, check out our wallpaper, we have a link for you down below. You can download our wallpapers and follow me on Pinterest, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.